Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today we got a beautiful build for you. Today we're building in none other than the MSI Pano. If you guys saw this earlier, we posted a tweet about it here about a week ago when we were at CES. This case stood out to us 100% and we were like, we have to build in it. Today we're building what's called the Kawhi system. It's going to be a ready to ship system that's featured over on our website that you can go and purchase literally right after you see this build. If it's hopefully still available. These systems don't last long. But today we're building with the 14600K. It is hands down one of the best CPUs, use, CPUs you can buy right now for the budget. In terms of gaming, in terms of performance, even some editing, editing and content creation, it's absolutely killer. We're pairing it with the brand new 4070 Super as well in the white Ventus OC model, which is a great little card. Again, this is a beautiful MATX build in the Pano. It's got that beautiful curved glass, all white out. It's got reverse fans on the side. It's got the Leanly Galahad cooling it from the top. It's going the B760 mortar board, which is absolutely beautiful from MSI and this MSI case. We got 32 gigs of 6400 megahertz DDR RAM coming over in the brand new XPG Blade RAM, which absolutely looks, looks absolutely killer. Two terabyte NVMe drive as well, and we've got 850 watt power supply, plenty of power for today's system. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button so people can see more of our beautiful PCs over here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Only about 10% of our viewers are subscribed to this channel. I want to catch us live on Edited Raw like it is when I butcher these intros. You can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash since at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we hope to see you soon. Uh, price of this build is actually $2,000. It's a $2,000 build. And it's going to look absolutely killer. Look at all those beautiful parts. All right, let's get started. B760 mortar. So this is not a Z-series board, so you're not going to have any kind of CPU overclocking on this one, but this is going to be able to give you, still to be able to do RAM timings, RAM adjustments. The B-series boards have come a long way for Intel. People used to refer to them as like the non-overclocker board, but they, you can get you can get tweaked with. You can still tweak them and perform really, really well. And this being one of the best boards on the B series that you can get is the to, this is the kind of like the tomahawk, but it's called the mortar. This is like the the highest end B series gaming uh, board you get. Comes even in a really nice Wi-Fi adapter. I believe this is the Max Two, which is if I, this might even have Wi-Fi Seven, Wi-Fi Six E. It has 2.5 gig LAN, so that's a 12 to 1 to 1 uh, VR. Um, power delivery, so it's actually really good too. PCI 5 slot, to get started today, we have some, we have some, so it's a silver and white aesthetic, we've even got the nice white RAM coming from XPG, white and silver, it really matches this board very well. Especially the case today, guys, which you guys are gonna love. Again, today we have a one terabyte NVMe drive as well, or two terabyte NVMe drive. So we, this is a really good creation system. If want, somebody wants us to, a really good out of the box PC that performs well, that looks really good. I say it looks really good, chat. Just give it a second here. We can see this case. I was blown away by this case when I saw it at CES. I was like, MSI is making this? This is stunning. Like the price point of this case, I thought it was gonna be higher. The only caveat is this is a MATX design. So you're limited in your size and your function, but if you want a lot of that aesthetic without paying the high price of like all the high RGB fans and everything like that, this is gonna be one of the best cases you can buy for the money. There we go, all latched down there. 14600K down in the socket. It's a phenomenal CPU chat. It's a phenomenal CPU. Drop our two terabyte Kingston drive down and in. Side of there. It's got a RAM. Again, today we have the XPG blade. I love this RAM chat. Look at that. It's slick. It's nice. Uh, it's, it's a Hynix kit with just an XPG RGB controller. We have 32 gig, the 6400 DDR5. There it is, down and in. Looks really good on that board, nice and clean. Let's get our standoffs for the cooler. LGA 1700. There we go. Sometimes these are a little sticky on the back. Gotta be careful of the PCB. That's our standoff bracket for our LGA 1700. All right, guys, um, we are all done with the motherboard, getting it ready to go into the case. We're gonna get the case out, brand new case today. Again, 14600K all down on the B760 mortar Wi-Fi 2. We have XPG, 6400 megahertz of DDR5, 32 gigs. CL32 latency. Down our NVMe slot here, we have a two terabyte Kingston uh, NVM NV2, which is a fantastic, really good, and a little drive. Kind of competes with like the SN580, things like that. Um, fantastic little drive there from uh, Kingston. We're gonna slide this aside and we're gonna get out the beautiful Pano M100R, the Mag Pano from MSI. New case alerts. This is what I love to see out of like manufacturing. This right here is awesome. From a system integrator to have cardboard reinforced styrofoam for shipping PCs. This is like <laughs> chef's kiss. Yo, Dom, look at this. Bro. Oh my God. All right, now get out of here now. Guess why we can't have you on stream. There it is. That is the Pano. Oh, this is MATX dual chamber design from MSI. What do you guys think about that? That's a slick case. How much does this cost? This case like $100 to $110. Look at the curved design. I saw this at 
at CES, I was like, I gotta, we gotta build in this. A mixture of like height meets leanly. You can see right here, really nice back panel, pops right off. Toolless design, tempered glass front, pops right off, love that. The only thing that we have to unscrew is the top, the top bracket here to get it, be able to access our um, cooler later. It's also got white wires, so all of your cabling is in white. I thought that out, which is really nice. Comes with those four DC powered fans with a PWM um, motherboard controller that has ARGB and PWM control. And it's even got a little GPU support bracket in here too. All right, so top down. Let's see, I put this motherboard in. We'll have to have a little bit more white here, but they don't have like a lot of uh, MATX boards that are super white. This one kind of fits the silver aesthetic, so it looks still really good. The only option would have been maybe an ASRock board. But there we go. Our last screw here in the motherboard. There we go, all in. You guys are front close, we'll lift up this case. There we go, looking slick. What do you think, chat? You guys like this so far? We're going to our front panel connections really quick. We have a USB 3 and a Type-C. They're all HD audio. There we go, there's our USB 3.0 header, which is nice and white. We have our Type-C header as well, which is white, which is good to see. There it is. So it's going to be our HD audio. We're going to move on to the power supply next, chat. Front panel connection is going to go in next. The front panel. Looking good. Let's get our power supply out. Today's power supply is going to be the PX A50G from Deepcool. Cybernetics rated, really high quality power supply from Deepcool. Look at that white, beautiful power supply chat. I mean, that's going with the aesthetic of the build. Get our cables out. We need to be a white power cable. I mean, look at that. That's the icing on the cake. We've got the cables that we need here. All right, today we're going to need, we'll need SATA, CPU one. I think it's a dual CPU. Dual CPU, which is nice to see. Plenty of power delivery. So there's your 12 volt high power in white. 24 pin main motherboard. And then we've got, there's our second CPU. All right, all of our cables there. All these extra cables are going in the box along with the white power cable. All right, that's all in. There we go, chat. That's the beauty there. All right, slide this power supply down and in. We have cooler and GPU left, that's it. So let's get this cooler in. Cable manager looking pretty decent on the back. Not too bad. A lot of cables in the little hub they have there. But not too shabby. Pretty clean looking case, aesthetic, everything like that. Get this cooler out. We're gonna get this pump mounted chat. All right, so we're gonna do actually, we've done before when we've done these leanly coolers, is we're gonna lay the case down, mount the pump, and then lay the, the cooler above it, and then lift everything together. But I'll show you like this. Now, get this pump all secured. Brings on the pump's good. I'll make you guys a spitter side view here. Get ready to mount this. We have to run our RGB. Let's mount it in here. Get two of these mounted, and I'll spin this around so you can see it. All right, getting connected, and then we're gonna move on to our cable management, and then plug our USB in, USB and SATA here for the, for the pump. There we go, that's all in. Make sure we're gonna work on these cables. So we have like an RGB cap right here, like a bright, white, a big RGB cap. And we have the mirror, a mirror with the RGB right here. And we have just the entire mirrored look. So do you want RGB mirror, or do you want more RGB equals more FPS? This is just a mirrored finish right now, like an infinity design. This is the mirror in the middle. I like this one, it's probably my favorite. That's the mirror. And then this is the RGB ring goes around the mirror. There we go. That's the RGB mirror. I think it looks good. Time for the GPU chat. A little 4070 Super today. The Ventus OC, two fan. We're the only white MSI cards I have, but they shout out to MSI for getting this, like day one. Like this card right here, this is gonna do like Tarkov, really high FPS, Warzone. It does low power draw and small, compact, so you do micro ATX, mini ATX, you name it. Like I said, it's not a huge card. It just, it, it's efficient and it works. So it's still a good size for the case. 12 gigs of VRAM, so it's actually really sweet. It's a really good sweet spot. 12 is more than enough, 110. 10, 10 to 12 is the sweet spot right now, in my opinion. Like 24 gigs, 4090s is ridiculous. You better be doing 8K, 4K. I tell people all the time, we're, I had a conversation last time, people were playing Tarkov. People, everything, everything you need to have a 4090 to play Tarkov. A 4070 Super is gonna be the sweet spot in price. The 4070 Ti Super is gonna be the, the price point in performance. And the 48 Super really is if you're playing, if you wanna do 4K or 14, like really high, really high fidelity 1440p. I think the 4K is for Tarkov is just overkill. Let's pop in this 4070 Super today from SI. Looks great in this case too. Like I said, this, this is like this build. It was like meant for this build. Three, two, one, let's pop this in. There it is. It's really sturdy, really, really sturdy. There we go, chat. What are we thinking? Snaps right in. All right, guys, let's get ready to boot it up. We're, now we're doing, by the way, we're gonna be doing Windows 11 Pro and all the systems moving forward too. So people are ordering, which is utilizing the new 14th gen and the AMD CPUs better for like, like you know, we're using Project Lasso before and now they're gonna be even better, so. Top on, side the top piece on. Just got plenty of airflow. I love the top panel. I think that's really cool, really cool design. Like, look at that. I think it looks so cool. 
slick. It's a really slick case, man. MSI did really well on this. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.